kids, it's Fort Grizzly's Happy Funland! Happy Funland is laid out like the four cardinal directions of the compass. To the north is Fancyland. Filled with enough whimsy to tickle any child's fancy. To the east is Western Land, land of the outlaws. To the south is Anytown Plaza, USA. An authentic recreation of turn of the century theme retail. To the west is Dangerland, a land of perilous danger. You and your whole family will enjoy a happy and fun escape from your sad and futile life at more Disney's Happy Funland. Now Florida's happiest and funnest theme park. Kids, it's Fort Grizzly's Happy Funland! The Funland is made out like the four cardinal directions of the compass. To the north is Fancyland. Filled with enough whimsy to tickle any child's fancy. To the east is Westernland, land of the outlaws. You had never heard of Happy Funland theme park. Why it's tragic tale when you agreed to meet a total stranger and Larry in the middle of a South Florida swamp. Perhaps if you had known about the grisly events that happened there, you wouldn't have agreed to the job. <laughs> So, I'm Larry. Thanks for answering my ad. Look, I know it's real hard to find someone willing to meet some random crazy stranger out in the middle of the swamp at night and all like this, so I do appreciate you coming. Well, now, look at you. Yeah, you'll do just fine. <laughs> so, the first thing we need to do here is have you strap this wireless video camera on top of your head. This here will allow me to see, hear, and record everything you do. I can talk at you over the headphones. I'll fill you in on more aggressive plan as we go. Here, put this on. All right, got a signal. Video looks pretty dark, though. Mm. You know, when I told you to meet me here at night, I kind of forgot about the whole lit being dark thing and all. So, you're probably going to want to have a flashlight. There's one in my toolbox on that crate over there by the fence near my truck. Why don't you go over there and get it? Anyways, it being dark and all just helps set the proper mood and such. Plus, it just seemed to be easier for sneaking in, cover of darkness and all. Flashlights just in my red toolbox right there. That should come in handy for you. So anyways, like I said in my ad, I needed someone to explore and videotape this abandoned theme park I found out here called Happy Fun Lane. You ever heard of it? Probably not. It was closed and abandoned in the early 70s. See, I make online videos where I explore abandoned places and things, and I usually would just do it myself, but I came out here last month to do just that, but I didn't make it too far till boom! Damn gator chop off both my legs. Oh yeah, you better believe it's been hell. I thought my video graphing days were over, and my video channel would start losing followers. But this here find is way too big to walk away from, even if I could still walk. So that's where I came up with this idea for just having a wireless video headset and all, and just hiring someone else, like you, with legs, to explore the place for me. So come on, hop on the boat, and we can get started. So 
But this here doc was a close point of injury I could find out of here, just outside the government property. They got this whole place locked down pretty good with electrified fences and all. If they still got power, there must still be power going deep part. And I happen to know a back way. Now don't you worry about being the jack my gators out here or nothing. As long as you're careful and keep an eye on them, you should be just fine. Just don't be stupid like I was, and you should be able to walk away from this on your own too late. So now we're crossing on the Grizzly Company property and are technically illegally trespassing and all, but don't you even worry about that. Pretty sure they don't even control this place that much anymore. There's an old billboard for the park. Park Grizzly, Happy Fun Land, home of Randy Road. You ever heard anything about Fort Grizzly or Randy Road? Or about that terrible tragedy that closed this whole place down? So, they, that's just like flying rats. Little rodents with demon wings is what they is. There's the old entrance to the parking lot. That used to be the main way in, but you can't even access that road with the freeway no more. Road's gone all over ground. After that tragedy, the company just pulled out and shut the whole park down. They supposed to pour it all down too, but really, it all looks like they just tried to bury the whole thing out of here in the swamp and left it to rot. Hey, is that? No, that's, the, that's not the one that took my legs. Too small. So, took my legs is at least twice the size I'd reckon. And jacked up on me. Alright, we're almost here now. Just up ahead. There it is. Your entryway to the fun park. Just follow that storm drain all the way down and it'll lead you right to the main electrical room where you can hopefully get the power back on for the whole park. I admit it ain't the most sanitary that's the way in, but it'll do you. Oh, and we can discuss your payment after you get all the footage I need. Fair enough. Once you get that power restored, you should be able to explore the whole place. Right on some rides and stuff. Now that's definitely some freaky freak. Well, probably just the wind. You ain't scared of no balloon, are you? Anyways, this thing park you're breaking into here was built by a guy named Moore Grizzly. Well, I don't mean built like installing the framing and doing the drywalling or nothing like that. No, he was a big money. He weren't no animator or nothing like that Walt Disney fella. No, Mort Grizzly made his fortunes in firearms, alcohol, and tobacco products. Randy Roden was a Grizzly Tobacco Company's cartoon cigarette pitch man. You know, to hook the kid. Hey, what's that? Some kind of Randy Roden shrine or something? This stuff weren't. What's that note cut? Destroy Randy Roden figures? I guess you should probably do that too then. Mother, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and Eileen, where the hell did that thing come from? Damn near sold my drawers. About sport my best trousers. What is that? Some kind of crazy Randy Roden headed mannequin? I swear I didn't put it there, dude. I mean, sure, it's true there's been lots and lots of people that have died here and all. And yes, there are rumors this place is haunted and whatnot, but don't let none of that scare you. 
Just keep going, dude. Don't chicken out on me now. So this is about as far as I got the last time I tried breaking in here. I was a tunneling into the electrical room up there when that damn gator came up behind me and chopped off both my damn legs. <sighs> well, I beat him off, me and all. Had to crawl myself back to my boat, losing half my blood along the way and all. It was pretty brutal. But this is where I found my Randy hat, though, so it weren't a total loss. coming to me with questions all the time, same questions over and over. So the power goes out in the pot, you can't get the power back on basically, it turns it away because it blew a fuse. So you gotta replace the fuse. That is usually a fuse in the cabinet, put that fuse in the fuse box, and you can pull the lever to start the power back. Always have to come to me with your problems. I'm sure, you got a brain, you can figure it out. Listen to the tape. I think I lost communications there with you for a bit. Good job taking some initiative and getting that power back on and all. Looks like you're just about to the front entrance of the park now. Should be just up ahead. There's a happy fun land sign and another one of them weird ass balloons. Ah, uh, damn! Watch out for that sucker. Don't get up on him, just let him pass. Keep your legs on, just let him pass. There's one of them old-timey photo booths over there, too. Maybe you can save your memories of tonight's little adventure in any one of them booths. All right, here at the Happy Funland Main Entrance. Hard to believe this is all still standing out here and all, huh? This is really going to help me out with my game. I, I mean, my followers. Help me get more followers for my video thing. See, I had a lot of time to learn up on this place while my legs was healing. They say they had this whole place almost completely automated. Very few actual human employees. Mostly robots or audio automatons, they call those things. I guess they were very advanced for the time period and all, built by some Nazi German scientist or something. Apparently they all went all up in the haywire one day and just up and killed everyone in the park and all. Looks like you're gonna need a ticket to get in. Poke around back at one of those ticket booths. Maybe you can buy one there. Howdy! This automated ticket booth is currently experiencing technical difficulties. Please inform the nearest living for employee to manually dispense ticket for you. Sorry. 
Fidget, fidget dispense. All right, you got a ticket. Go give it to that auto automaton, that Tommy and Tone tiny 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 Tim thing at the front gate. Hell, you know what I'm talking about, that thing with water. Thank you. This ticket is valid. Have a fun and happy time at Mort Grizzly's Happy Fun Land. All right, you're in. Mort Grizzly's Happy Fun Land. Never thought I'd see this. All right, dude, you got a map and a mini golf scorecard. You might want to hold on to that putter. Could make a decent weapon if you might need one. Yeah, they got this whole area all blurred out on the googly earth and all. Just looks like empty swampland on there. Can't see any of all this what's here. So I guess they were originally going to call this place Grizzly Land. After Mort Grizzly and all, which would have been more appropriate after all the grizzly murders they had here, don't you think? Huh, not sure why they would have the doors tied into the mini golf, but whatever. Well, shit, looks like you're trapped in there now. Well, don't get all freaky freaky on me. Everything's still going according to plan. We're just switching to plan B, and I'm going to figure out what that is. So for you, that means just keep exploring the whole place. I got the recorder running, so the video should be... Ah, uh, dang it. Well, looks like you're trapped in the gift shop now. Well, don't just stand around lying the gag. Look around for a way to get those security gates open again. I don't want to be out here all night. Damn ran the road of merchandise. It would probably have been worth some money. Oh, dang it, I hate those things. Probably best you just destroy them then. I think you did it. Good to see you ain't as incompetent as I first took you for. Don't worry, I'm still getting a real good video shot. Whoa, there he is. Mort Grizzly statue. I can see the resemblance. I mean, sure, he killed a lot of people with his products and all. Firearms, alcohol, tobacco, theme parks. But overall, not a bad looking man. I imagine he brought a lot of people a lot of happiness with this park. Well, except maybe the ones that died here and all, but you know what I'm saying. 
You know, there's a rumor he's cryogenically frozen here somewhere in the park. One man's greed, huh? I see you look at all this fancy stuff. Take your time looking around at all this stuff in here. We might learn something interesting. Fancy and tap potential in the lucrative youth market. Tonight, he thought he's brought more fortune to Grizzly. By now, Randy Rodin was a hot dog. And all of this is pieces of stealing in the Polk Boy County. Or first, the boy is done for six to five. And who's more considered than at the point of the day one? In 1959, Polk had a body made for children. Who has the apple of the guy? It's a enchanted banana, princess. Construction of black and is also a heavy work of the day. Why the entire part of the design is over the moon? After the supervision of German scientist Dr. Hans von Sturman, who genius in robotics made the robots in the world give it the most life-like and intelligent machine to do. The 1960s were totally tied to America and for more grizzly as well. Many lawsuits were brought against Ford and the Grizzly companies by state and federal governments. During a meeting with the heads of the New York families in 1964, the New York New York Royal Fair, Ford had an epiphany. While riding a boat ride filled with animated dogs with his daughter, he realized he had enough cheap swamp land to build a family fund. The 1950s brought more fortune to Grizzly. The 1950s brought more fortune to Grizzly. By now, Randy Rodin was a household man, and all of Grizzly's businesses were booted. And in sensing sensing and tap potential in the lucrative youth market, the Grizzly Ad Company created the character Randy Rodin in 1979. The more to let laws of morals stand in the way of profit, the Grizzly Farm Court got his start in 1920 as an entrepreneurial young lad, providing affordable homemade alcohol to those who craved it during a time we commonly refer to in the U.S. as prohibition. Sales of the illegal drink were pressed from the start, and within the year, young Mort, he was millionaire. Mort Grizzly was a true American original. Born Mortimer Abaddon Grizzly, in 1906, he became known as Grizzly, and he came over and took his first report. But he was also known as the man of the man. Hey, I think I know now what the bad guy's back. You better hurry and find a way out of here or you'll be killed by this fire. Look around for a key in there, son. Don't let get that door open before you get crushed by this fire. Hurry up now. I ain't got another one until you'll hit him. That hits him worth a lot more than I was planning on paying you tonight, dude. Don't you never get damaged.
Great job saving the video headset and your life and all, but that's great footage you're sending. Keep it up. Hey, is that mouse trap I see there on the floor? You might want to be careful with your toes around those. Oh, part two, the way the horse part of the big ice. By Mark Scotty's tragic died in a brief shot in the accident part. That left Mark haunted for the rest of his life. He began to work extensively with Dr. Bob's and procedures to extend or restore 